In this video today, I'm going to be attempting to build the best team I possibly can within four hours. We've done something very similar a very long time ago, but this time we're saying a very strict time constraint. Four hours is not a lot of time to build an entire team, so I'm going to allow myself to cheat a little bit. First off on offense, we're going to be adding in our free team captain, Lance Allworth. Next up right here is Pat Fryermuth, another free card that you get. Over on defense, we're going to be adding in Cam Chancellor alongside Taylor Mays. But other than those cards right there, this team is gonna be completely grinded for in this video so anyways let's go ahead and start right now all right so one of the biggest issues we have when trying to complete this challenge is we are on my main account meaning we won't get level up rewards and we also won't be able to complete solo challenges to make up for that i have set up a little bit of a cheat where we're gonna be able to go ahead and go into our head-to-head -head seasons and use our actual team currently right now we are in mvp league with one game off of going to the playoffs so i'm gonna go ahead and hop into these real quick right now this is just gonna help us get starter coins as well as a free pack that's kind of like the same thing as getting a free pack from playing solo challenges so i'll see you guys here in a second as you boys can see we have as gone as far as to win the super bowl in our mvp season the only issue is that took about what four or five games although we forced a lot of rage quits that's still a total of an hour and 33 minutes off of our four hour timer we do get tons of coins obviously as well as this touchdown pack right here let's go ahead and open this pack right here hopefully we can get like a 90 plus the market is so bad right now that it'd have to be a really good pull we do get an 89 right there 86 right there and that's looking like it's about to be at 85 88 okay so we got a lot of pretty decent mid overall cards there anyways now let's go newest and quick sell all of these cards right here and that's gonna bring us a total of 145,000 coins we also have tons of cards right here up to this i think henry anderson Derek brown about 50 15,000 coins. Let's go ahead and add that. 88 overall right here. Richard Seymour. Let's go ahead and add that. About 7k right there for him. Ahmad Rashad here. 3,200. And right here Isaiah Prince. 5,000 coins. Alrighty boys. So it's been about another 10 minutes here and I figured I would look into completing Team Builder 1 sets. Recently EA added in those 98 overall like Team Champions or whatever they're called. I don't really care what they're called but you do need Team Builders for this set so i'm assuming team builders have gone up in price meaning that we're going to be able to complete those team builder sets and sell them off and yeah as we can see here team builders are all around this 10k mark we might even be able to sell them for a little bit more i do know we could probably get core elites for under 2k a piece probably more if we try to snipe them so yeah that's just what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and try to snipe these elite cards for under 2,000 and the gold cards for under a thousand obviously we're gonna be looking for more snipes because the more snipes that we get the more coins that we make so I'm just going to start doing this process literally over and over and over. Alrighty, boys, I just completed like five or four or like, I don't even know how many team builder sets. And although, yes, we're completing them for profit and we're doing a good amount of them, we're probably only going to profit about like 10K for the amount we've done so far. So like, this is just not worth doing. I had no clue what the state of the market was going to be looking like at the start of this video because I just haven't really done much with the market since the market crash. Currently, we got to fill up all of these spots on our roster and we only have one. 169,000 coins. We still have some team builders selling, so we're gonna have more a little bit later. Boys, I've searched forever. It's now we only have an hour and a half left to make coins and build our team. I, I, I can't find anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do get a player packs. I don't really like get a player packs, number one. And number two, it is a very awkward time of day where the market is not very active. So honestly, there's a chance that we might not make profit on these. But I am thinking of that since team builders have kind of inflated, since those low cards have kind of inflated to match the prices of those high sets we might just be able to make some profit by selling cards that go into those team builder sets or we can just complete our team builder sets ourselves so yeah i'm just gonna go through these get a player packs if i get anything crazy i'll show you guys of course but yeah i'm just gonna go through these i gotta go to the feature tab because this is quicker your saffold power up selling for a lot in the past but if it's actually gone up to 15k this this is a solid pull don't know if it will sell for that much but holy cow that'd be a clutch power up pull if we could get that to sell another guy right here bosa sell for anywhere near this 3k amount i will take it like we've been pulling pretty solid elites throughout all these packs some have been very high like 84s i mean hey i'm not advising you guys to go all in on these and spending your time opening these as this goes for nothing right here but hey you never know we might pull platinum i'm gonna keep ripping i'm gonna keep selling if i get something super crazy i'll show you guys of course indy is selling for like 20k like i said i don't know if he's gonna sell for this much i really don't have a clue but bro i don't i just don't think many people are opening get a play 
player backs anymore, which I don't blame them. But that means there's a lot of expensive power-ups up on the block, I'm assuming. I have no clue. Maybe I'm just getting extremely lucky. Like I said, I'm gonna keep ripping. See you boys in a bit. Alrighty, boys, as you guys can see in the top right-hand corner, we are up to 226,000 coins. Heading into our binder here, I've been opening get a player packs for a good amount of time. And most of our stuff that goes for a lot has sold. We obviously have a lot of cards that haven't in here. And there's just a lot of cards I haven't posted as well. I don't know what I want to do with these golds just yet. I don't want to keep opening get a player packs because we are lucky with how much stuff has sold so far. If you're wondering about this stuff down here, this is just how it got down to zero coins. Don't worry about that. We also have one more issue. Right now, we are currently under one hour left to go in this challenge. And that timer does not stop. So yeah, no matter what I do, no matter how much time I actually have left, that timer will run no matter what. And it's running right now. As you guys can see, we've already just wasted 20 seconds just to hear me sitting here talking. Yeah, I gotta be very careful because if I open to get a player packs, I go down on coins. I don't get those coins back unless those cards sell. I can get the daily objective. I am currently two of 10. I would need to win two head to head games. And I don't know if I'm willing to risk that. I could go back and use my other team that I was talking about earlier. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I'm gonna see if I could force a quick rage quit because if I'm able to do that, we, we might be able to complete both games. Giving us our daily objective, giving us another midfield pack. And then yeah, if we get another midfield pack, we get somehow a good pull or something, that'd be great. This also gives us time for our gap packs to sell. All right, boys, that just went terribly. I just threw a pick right off the bat. That drains five minutes, number one, as well as there's no way I'm getting two rage quits within 25 minutes if I spend five minutes throwing a pick six off the bat. So I'm back to square one. I think I'm gonna have to try my luck with get a player packs. I'm just gonna go for like 10 minutes. Maybe we get something insane. But yeah, I, I guess we're gonna see my guy. I guess we're gonna see. Let's get it, boys. All right, let's go into our item binder right here as it loads. All right, and going newest right here. Honestly, not too bad. 84, 81. Oh my gosh. Oh, it quick sells for 56k? No way. Okay, 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 okay. No shot. No shot. Bro, I was just spam backing out of animations. So yeah, I was not expecting to get that type of a pull. All right, I'm just gonna sell all these cards off once they sell or once they might sell once they maybe sell i don't know if they'll sell but once they do we're gonna start building this team Alrighty, boys i just spent some time trying to think of what my strategy is going into this honestly i don't think i spent that time very wisely i probably would have been better off just trying to get some more coins onto this account and i kind of knew this previously but you can get very low elite power-ups for very cheap and for just positions like o line and d tackles i don't need the best of the best especially with how small of a coin budget we have i'd rather spend big at kind of larger positions so 1000 for a left tackle right there 1300 for a left guard right there go 1000 coins for a center right here there's 800 coins right there 1200 coins right there and then now we're gonna also look for the defensive tackle position be at 800 coins and another 800 coins right there i'm also gonna look ahead and grab a fullback and yeah, I guess we'll just grab this Giovanni Ricky Rich. I got no clue what his name is, but welcome to the team, my guy. And over here is the new defense. Now, one thing that I always do is I always get a strong safety instead of two middle linebackers due to the fact that I like using sub linebackers more than middle linebackers. It looks like some more cards did sell, so another 5k added to the bank. The first pickup that I want to go ahead and make is this 88 overall cornerback. This dude's a straight budget beast. Monroe, Monroe, I don't know what it is, but he does have 82 speed or 92 speed absolute beast we're gonna go ahead and pick him up yeah 92 speed on marquise brown gonna go ahead and pick him up another solid pickup in general i think i'm gonna go ahead and pick up 89 overall demarcus Ware for 14,000 coins and the auction has expired that's great Ooh, i'm just gonna go budgety i'm just gonna scoop up jj watt right here 33,000 coins for jj watt that's really not that bad of a pickup does rocky sin have good speed 91 speed that's all right we're just gonna go ahead and pick him up he's gonna be pretty okay in general yeah 93 speed on foydasa aludakan i don't know if i'm saying that right but hey 9,000 coins we'll go ahead and pick him up let's go ahead and look at this card is it good 94 speed 96 hit power that's a really good user actually especially for this price i'm gonna go ahead and pick this card up why not i'm so dumb i gotta get another cornerback i have to get another cornerback i need one more cornerback or else my defense won't be complete bro uh 
Uh, 92 speed. Perfect. All right, let's add this guy to the team. All right, boys, and right here's our final defense. Yes, we are missing a lot of positions. I understand that. Look, we do have 11 total players, which means we can walk onto a football field and play a game. These are our 2D tackles. Rushers being JJ Watt and Demarcus Ware off the edge. Our three corners are obviously on your screen. Terrell Mays and Cam Chancellor will probably play deep. And then Jenkins and Fortisa Aludukan play in the middle of the field as well. That's 11 players. First guy I want to add in, we did buy a little bit earlier, is Marquise Brown. I'm just going to look around, see if we can find anybody that has good speed. Honestly, right here, 90 deep route running with 92 speed. I'm going to go ahead and pick this guy up right here. I could just pick up this Michael Carter and go all in on quarterback if I wanted to. 93 speed, that's not bad. He is that elusive, more receiving back archetype compared to power back. I'm going to go ahead and pick him up. We could have looked a little bit longer because we do have a lot of time to kill at this point. But yeah, we'll go ahead and pick up Michael Carter. The smart quarterback pickup here would be Trey Lance, but we always get him in these videos. So screw it. We're going to go ahead and pick up Mitch Trubisky, 95,000 coins. I'm a complete idiot. Let's go ahead and pick him up. As you guys can see with 14 minutes left on the clock, here's our offense. Here is our defense. We are 89 overall. If I did add silvers in, that would obviously probably tank down to 87 or 88. But for four hours, that's a pretty good team. Peace out, boys.